I know that I said that I was going to update you guys while I did not have the shot. However, that video, when I edited it, it and put it together, was five minutes long. I was not going to give you guys a five minute long video of me talking about how I hadn't lost any weight and I didn't have the shot yet and I didn't know when I was going to get it. So I just decided not to upload. Um, and then I didn't upload this past week because I got the shot midweek. So I got the shot on Wednesday, which now changes my shot days to Wednesday and no longer Sundays. Um, but I'm going to keep some, I'm going to keep Sunday uploads. It'll just be a weird timing when it comes to videos. So here's what I can do. I can either keep it as a Sunday upload or I can upload it on Wednesdays for you guys and make it a Wednesday upload. Um, I feel like, let me know in the comments what you guys think. After this video has, has gone through, this will be Monday to Sunday. It'll be a whole week, but shot day is in the middle of the week. So after this video is uploaded, if you guys find it hard to kind of keep up with it, let me know down below in the comments if it is something that you want me to just upload on Wednesdays and that way it's uploaded every shot day and it's like you guys are starting the week with me. So let me know below. With that being said, last Wednesday I got my shot. I took it that night because I was like, the girl's been without it for two weeks. We got to get this going. We need to take this. Um, and I'm with a new company. They're amazing. I want to tell you they're amazing. I'm not kidding you. I'm with Youth Fuel. And... Um, they use Hollandale out of Miami, Florida for their pharmacy. I know some people have had some issues with semi-glutide out of Hollandale. I take terzepatide, so I had no issues with it. Um, they also sent me BioBoost, which is something that I did not receive the last time. So I was really excited to receive that. Um, the last time I was told I needed to just take a B12 and a vitamin D every day. And while I still do that, BioBoost is something that I'm super excited to also take in conjunction with Trisepatide once a week. Um, I take BioBoost on Thursdays because I take my shot on Wednesday night. I just take the BioBoost Thursday morning so that my energy and all the things are kicked in and ready to go in the morning and I'm not going to bed with BioBoost and all of that. So with that being said, I have now officially lost another two pounds. So I am 152 and I'm very, very, very happy about that. Very excited to be two pounds closer to my goal weight. Um, and I think honestly, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to go down to 145. I feel like 145 is going to be my goal weight. But once we hit 150, we'll see where we're at. I still have a lot of work to do as far as toning on my stomach um there's just areas and there's just an area namely my apron belly uh that i would like to get rid of so i've been working on doing that i've been doing um at home body contouring and lymphatic massages and i've been um doing the diastase i say this wrong every time so please don't come for me diastases diastases whatever recti um workouts and that's been kind of what I've been doing those workouts if you don't know what that is when you get pregnant your ab muscles separate fun fact if you didn't know that and they stay separated <laughs> they don't go back so um at least for most people they stay separated mine however stayed separated so you can see if I was to pull this up you could see that my oh ow my stomach is right here um this is where my ab muscles are they're right here so I've been working on getting them to close and go back together, which is kind of where those apron belly workouts come into play. So that's what I've been working on doing. Um, I'm actually gonna go do that after I'm done with this video. But other than that, everything's been great. I had a couple, couple days of sulfur burps right after I took the shot on Wednesday and I just attributed that to the fact that um, I hadn't taken the shot in two weeks. <laughs> Let's be honest, I haven't taken the shot in two weeks and I wasn't eating junk. I wasn't eating like crap, but I hadn't taken the shot in two weeks. So my body was like, whoa, lady, what are you trying to put in our, in our system here? Uh, I thought we weren't taking this anymore because we haven't taken it in two weeks. And then she got back to being used to it and she was like, oh, we're good to go. Never mind. So um, that was the only time I had sulfur burps. And I was talking to my husband yesterday and I told him, you know, one of the things that I've realized when I take sulfur burps and all that, 
Hello, happy Wednesday. So today is actually shot day and um, realized watching back that I did not finish Monday's video. So um, I don't even remember what I was talking about and I'm sure at some point I will remember. So don't um, hate me for that. But anyways, today is Wednesday, today's shot day. So I took my bio boost this morning and your girl is feeling the energy. She's, she's feeling the vibes. Uh, it's, I noticed for sure that my, um, sorry, I got to fix that, that my energy was going down the closer that I got to needing my bio boost. So, um, it definitely has helped for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, and then I took it in conjunction with all of my other supplements. So I still take a B12, I still take a vitamin D, I take, um, a PCOS multivitamin, it's by Peach Perfect, and then I also take a vaginal probiotic in addition to a regular probiotic. So all of those things have really been helping me as of this morning. I still weigh 152, so we did not um, go down at all or lose any extra weight. So we'll see what happens after shot day today. I'm still on five. I'm not going up. I have no plans to go up if I continue to lose weight. So goal weight is 150. We're two pounds away from that, but I'm okay if it's like 145. So we'll see what happens. Um, I have been working on, like I said, my weight, my exercises, all the things. Um, I am noticing that I'm able to eat a little more now. So originally I could eat like half, like three bites of a hamburger and be done. And now I'm eating like half to almost three quarters. Um, I made these yummy, yummy, yummy chicken meatballs. They were like these barbecue honey chicken meatballs. They were so good. And originally when I had made them, um, I just, I had just taken my shot so I could only eat one. Um, but today I was able to eat like two for lunch. So I'd say that that's a good, good thing. Um, I try to make sure that I eat all of my protein before I eat anything else. So we're all eating all of our protein before we eat any like carbs or anything else. I want to make sure that I'm getting in that protein more than I'm getting in anything else because the protein is what's going to help us. Um, so making sure that we get that in. What else? I haven't had any side effects, knock on wood. Uh, this week, other than like a couple little sulfur burps which I had talked about earlier, but that was just because I believe um, I, had to, I hadn't taken the shot in two weeks and then I had just taken it. So it was like my body being like, mm -hmm, home girl, what are we doing here? Uh, but other than that, I haven't had anything. I've been making sure that I've been getting in water and all of that. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the update for today. I will update you guys tomorrow after I've taken the shot. So I'll take it tonight. And that should go up on my Instagram probably next week. So I have to send it into the company today. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy Wednesday. So today was shock day. Um, no, I lied. Today's Thursday. Yesterday was shock day. Today's Thursday. Um, I did my shot last night when I got home from my daughter's softball practice and everything so far has been okay. Um, obviously I'm always in a sweatshirt because ozempic freeze. All right. It's a thing. It is a side effect. You're constantly freezing. Um, I have been okay with no no like nausea no sulfur burps no nothing everything's been really good as far as that's concerned knock on wood um i've been i drank a lot of water today i'm like sipping on a zero sugar soda just because sometimes i need that little little caffeine um but i drink a ton of water so that's okay i've eaten um yeah everything's pretty normal everything's going pretty well got on the scale this morning and I was 151. So we're a whole one pound away from our original goal weight. Um, I'm a little excited to see what we get down to by the end of the week. Like, are we just going to go to 150 or are we going to get down even more? So I will keep you guys updated obviously, but yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. I'm super excited to see what the week has in store. 
Um, we're supposed to be getting, I think, a hurricane this weekend. So that'd be exciting. I, I, I don't know what we can do. Um, hopefully it doesn't hit us really bad and things stay copacetic around here. Um, Cause I hate being without air. If you have ever lived in Florida or you know somebody who lives in Florida, you know, hurricane season is like the worst time ever. And we end up like, if we get a hurricane, power can go out and power being out and having no air um, in the dead of summer sucks like beyond belief so really hoping that doesn't happen but other than that um things have been well glp one wise i had to throw away two pairs of pants this week i'm hoping i don't ever have to throw away another pair of pants after this everything that i own is in size 10 to 12 and that's saying so much to me because excuse me i went from a size 18 to 20 uh, and I'm in like a 10 to 12. So <laughs> we're talking like whole, like 10 pant sizes here. Um, I went from a 2XL to a medium. I'm steady a medium now. Um, sometimes I can like pull off a small. <clears throat> There's a free, rom free people romper that I have that is a small. So, I mean, it's just crazy to me. Like I went, it, we started March, March. 23rd of 2024 is when I started and I am down 45 I believe pounds that's insane insane but I actually started my weight loss journey way 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 before that um when I started the beginning of the year at 230 pounds and ended up going down to 194 all on my own so technically and all in all, um, I've lost this year. I lied. And I'm not lying. I did start 2024 at 230. All in all, in the, in the grand scheme of things, I've lost like 100 pounds. Um, so that's saying a lot. I mean, that's, that's a lot to lose. And I've, I've gotten the comment lately um, on a lot of my social media that everybody's like, you're glowing, you look so much happier. And it's like, so good to hear because I used to sit in my room just crying and telling my husband, I just feel like I'd be so much happier if I was skinnier. I just feel like I'd be so much happier if I was skinnier. And I didn't get, I didn't start a GLP one. I didn't start a health or a weight loss journey. I didn't start any of that simply because I was like, I just want to be skinnier. I started it for me. I started it for my mental health. I um, was always in I was always depressed. I was falling into depression like all the time. Um, and my anxiety was at an all-time high. My stress levels were at an all-time high. My cortisol levels were through the roof. And I knew that I had to lose the weight, even though it was so hard. I knew I had to do it. So being able to wear something like this and know that it's actually big on me it's actually oversized like those things they just mean the world to me in just the grand scheme of things I know it's kind of dumb if you aren't obviously if you're not me like you're like who cares if your shirt's oversized I do <laughs> um so yeah that's the update for today and I will talk to you guys tomorrow hello Pause that thought. Okay. Hello. It is Saturday. I did not update you guys yesterday. I kind of had a busy Friday. Um, but I did not update you guys yesterday, but everything is doing fantastic. I have not had, knock on wood, any side effects. I have no nausea, no getting sick of any kind, no nothing, no sulfur burps. It's been per. I've literally been listening to my body and knowing the things that basically send me into those types of side effects. And so I've been listening to my body and I'm good to go. Um, stepped on the scale this morning and da -da -da. we're 149. Actually it was 149.9. Um, so technically 
Oracle weight. Uh, and that's crazy. That's crazy for me. So I've officially made it to goal weight and I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to go down to 145, um, but now I'm going to start working on some ab exercises. So I will pick up those weights that I was a little afraid to pick up and start working on doing that. Um, I'll start doing it at home before I even like join a gym. Gyms are just ridiculously expensive. Like why do I have to pay you a hundred dollars a year? And on top of that, I also need to pay you $30 a month. What? Like, why is it so expensive? It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start working on it at home. And the kids go back to school in two weeks. Two weeks? One week. <laughs> go back to school in one week. So, I am super excited because then I'll have the day, like, I'll have time to myself. I won't be running around trying to, like get them snacks and worry about them or anything. I literally will take them to school, come home, be able to work out, be able to do work, like all the things. So I'm really, really excited for this next chapter. Excuse me. And I will obviously be taking you guys along with me until I feel like I don't need to and maybe we'll do like monthly check-ins. I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys want like to continue weekly from here on out or once we like hit goal weight which is now 145 even though I'm tech technically at goal weight now but 145 is like the newer one that I would be okay with gaining uh, getting to and um, once we hit that and then of course once we like start working on tightening and toning and everything if you guys want more like a monthly thing or if we just want to continue weekly I don't care I'll do but I'll do either but just let me know down below and um, also let me know down below if you want me to update you on how want me to go live, have videos go live on Wednesday versus going live on Sundays because Wednesday is now shop day. Sunday is no longer shop day. So let me know what you guys think below and I will check in with you one more time tomorrow before I upload for the week. Hello, happy Sunday. So I stepped on the scale this morning, another, um, just still another day at 149. So we can officially say that I am 149. Um, I did wake up this morning with a little bit of sulfur burps. And I think that's just because I had overeaten at dinner. Um, I basically like could feel it when I took the last bite. I was like, Ooh, I overate. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's why I have them which is totally fine. Usually with something like that, they go away like within the day, um, as long as I drink some water and stuff. So yeah, I think overall this week was really, really good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to upload this video. It is Sunday. So I'm going to upload this video and then, um, I'll wait for you guys to tell me below if you guys want to continue with Sunday updates or if you want to switch it to Wednesdays since Wednesday officially starts my week over. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you guys next time.